Can GPT-3 do math? What's GPT-3's answer to arithmetic? So this is uh, there is a new open source GPT-3 release. It's not by OpenAI. It's kind of a replicate of GPT-3. It's called Neo GPT. So it's another company called. Um, so there is another company that released this one, and it's called Eleuther AI. So they train this model on the same corpus, almost the same corpus of GPT-3, and then they release the public means you can download it they have many different versions and recently just two days ago they released the 20 billion parameter version of it which is like um 20 percent of G largest gpt3 the gpt3 largest one is 160 uh, 175 billion parameters okay so it's pretty large already 20 billion it's 20 times of uh very large so it's good enough uh, because it's free right now if you want to use gpt3 you need to use the api and you need to pay so let's just see somebody generated these things like arithmetic from gpt neo 20 billion there's actually open ai there in their gpt3 paper they already tested um the gpt3's capability of doing arithmetic they, they didn't release this text i know uh, a lot of people just uh, won't have feeling by just looking at the statistic. When you really looking at what kind of math the GPT-3 can do, you'll probably be surprised. And the, that's the things that we want to talk about, GPT-3 uh, free version and uh, some mathematics they done by GPT-3. If you would like to receive more content about AI, AI, like the future of AI, machine learning, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so this is the arithmetic. It's very easy for uh, probably the third grade students. Third grader is very easy for them. Uh, maybe a second grader already can do this, right? It's not that so hard. And uh, once you learn how to do arithmetic, you barely can make any error. Humans can achieve almost like 99.9% .9 of accuracy. But GPT-3, according to, GB, according to um, OpenAI, you only achieve around like okay so according to gpt3's original paper gpt3 the largest one only can do uh still only can do very limited for high digit okay so um for single digit single digit three ups the accuracy is under 20. so it tells you and the two digits it's easier for uh largest gpt3 they it can almost do 100 percent but if you increase to two three digits its accuracy drops a lot and uh, it kind of crash after four digits right the four digits uh, arithmetic is around 20 30 percent accuracies so you can see this is smaller model it's smaller than largest gpt3 it's closer to uh, second largest gpt3 so its accuracy Accuracy for those four digits, five digits won't be too high, and you can see it reflects here. But if you really see what it's, this is, it probably takes humans a, a little bit time to to calculate. But you can definitely do it right. But it takes some time. But GPT three can do that very quick <laughs> if you have enough compute power. And uh, what's actually impressive is in the training data, there aren't so much uh, arithmetic. There may be some, but there's little a lot of uh, these arithmetic never show these questions never show up in in the model training the model is how the was the model trained is just to read all the text in the internet right all the text on the internet and uh, there won't be all different combination of arithmetics in internet text so gpt3 kind of generalize how to do that there will be a lot of like one two digits arithmetic on the text but you think that this kind of digits uh, subtraction multiplication will be written on internet text and any kind of combination no they actually did a check a lot of them are now show up in the training data but gpt3 can still like achieve like 20 10 percent accuracy for example this is very impressive right this if 
the model can do this correctly. Multiplication is hardest, much harder than subtractive addition. Then we'll be impressed. But I didn't see that. I didn't see any of those. As long as this multiplication, it cannot do correctly. But if it's like addition, subtraction, if it's under four digits, it can be done quite well. And uh, yeah, like this one, like this one. Okay, so that's just a uh, its capability. It's still pretty pretty uh, limited. But consider it, it never fine tunes of zero shot learning model. It's impressive. I find people either find it very impressive, a kind of scare, or uh, if it does some, a lot of AI researchers, some people just uh, think this is just nothing, right? So either very impressive or not impressive at all. My, I personally, it's like impressive by how, how this model can perform this task, this simple task, uh, even this simple task, because it's not in the training data. It's not a, their training objective. They don't train at GPT-3 to do math. They train GPT-3 to generate text, to predict master tokens, right? So this is really just like a side by byproduct, byproduct. And byproducts um, can be so well. I, and that's why I'm impressed. But it's really far away from general artificial, artificial general intelligence. If you really understand why you can do it just even couldn't even do like five digit arithmetic how can you say this is artificial general intelligence right and if you want to try this model they announced in february 2nd uh, they were going to release this i am actually being i i i was waiting this for for a long time i would definitely use it and uh, they delayed their release for for a week, so it was uh, just a few days ago they released this. You can download this. I don't know how to download, but you can definitely download its Apache license. There's no reason you couldn't download it. You probably just need to check their their documentation a little bit. It's just not very. It's not very straightforward. Like Hugging Face model uh, is in Hugging Face model hub. You can download with one line of command. It's slightly more troublesome. But I will figure out, you can figure out, it's not hard, you're a developer, right? And this is the task they use to benchmark Neo GPT-3 20 billion. And compared to, this is the strongest GPT-3. If you use GPT-3's API, this is the strongest one, DaVinci GPT-3. And Neo GPT-3, it's actually surpassed GPT-3, the best GPT-3 at some certain tasks, despite be much smaller than yet. So I believe if you use GPT-3 Neo 20 billion, it's a great idea to replace your GPT-3 GPT API. If you are using GPT-3 APIs for any use cases, only any kind of business uh, use cases, you can probably consider uh, to use this GPT-3 20 billion, Neo 20 billion to replace DaVinci. It's very expensive, DaVinci. Okay, and only thing you need to deal with is you need to set up your own API infrastructure, AI infrastructure run running on uh, AWS or uh, Google Cloud. It's a little bit troublesome, but it's not that hard. You need to uh, figure out the batch processing, and then you're fine. All right, so that's the video for today. GPT three, yeah, Neo GPT three, doing math. And what are your thoughts? Leave in the comment section below. I will reply every every of them. And if you would like to receive more AI related videos, don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription really means a lot to me. Other than that, take care, and I will see you next time.